how to change a regular width like this for a stroke into something like this or this. The key thing is to select it. If I select this one using the move tool, you see here you've got a stroke and you've got this 80 points, you can click there. However, if you select say two, you can select five, 10, 15 different shapes, you'll notice you haven't got that option, which is a pity. A workaround for that, just go to the pen tool. So click there, the pen tool, and then you get this back for both of them. So what you can do, just click here, 80 points. Of course, yours might be 60 points, 40 points. Just click there. And second item, make sense that, go down to, now if you've got this one, the dashed, it will not work with the pressure. It just ignored. So click there, and you see I've already got pressure already added. So I can reset that. By default, it will be just this straight line, straight across, so just straight line. And you'll notice I've also, I've got some profiles that I set up. I will show you that later. So what you can do, you can just double click or click. Does seem to have a mind of its own whether it's gonna allow you to add a point initially. Once you've got a point, generally it seems to be okay. So you can just drag that down and you'll notice for both of the lines or curves, it's now shrinking in the center. Now I can drag that over to the left and it will shrink it over on the left. If I drag it over to the right, it then shrinks it on the right. Or I can go up and down. And also I can add additional points. So again, click there. It always seems on the second or third, it seems to be happier adding it. The first one does seem to be temperamental, whether it's gonna allow you to add a point. And you can see you can create design like that or maybe drag it up that way. And you drag that closer and back and forth. And you can see you get that design. But what you can also do is you can always select that point and you can press the delete key. If you want to remove it, just press the delete key so it's gone. And there it is, it's gone. But you can add more than one, maybe five, 10, 15, and just drag that down to create a variety of different designs. Now you'll notice it. Sometimes you can just go off by accident and it will, you have to click it again there. It's very, very temperamental. It will suddenly, if you just go slightly off, it will disappear. Again, hover over there and then you can drag that down. But you'll notice what's happening is both sides are going down. Now you can click, single click and then drag. Sometimes it again is very temperamental. It will just ignore. I've done this. I've clicked it before and it just ignores. But click and drag. So you can make it unlinked from that. Something I didn't see earlier, but I must admit I was doing an earlier video about this. But you can unlink it to create a thin, very thin line there, obviously thicker at the end there. But again, you can just drag that up. But you also can again click there and just drag that. Now sometimes again, it just freezes and you'll find it doesn't move. I always find that sometimes I just go, go off it or reset it, then eventually it just works out again. But it does have a temperamental curve at times. Now, what you've got, you've got profiles. You can, if you think, oh wow, that's a brilliant profile, love that, I can save it. So click there and you can see you get this. Now it does, unfortunately, <laughs> seems to be, Again, this panel is very odd. You can't stretch it out. And if you save a profile, let's just save another profile. You can see the issue with this. You get this, but unfortunately, there's no way of dragging those along. So the profiles you created earlier, you can't access. This feature has been in since version one. So I'm really surprised that you just seems to not work 100% well. If you decide, you know what, I want to reset it, just reset it, puts it back to just standard lines like that. And then of course you can just select one of those and you can delete the profiles as well. So if you want to, just simply click here. So you can remove them. Again, that bar appears, but you can't access it. Very strange. And again, you can click there and you can remove them. So you can access eventually, but it seems to be that you can really only have four profiles at any one time and also as soon as you close the document, they're gone. Well, you can also use these profiles with other things as well. One issue also with this panel is it inevitably goes over your path. So you can't always see the design. 
So always, a, so I'm just going to select a rectangle. Now I can use this rectangle and I can use the profiles with that. So click here. And of course I could use circles, I can use stars, etc. So again, 80 points there it says. And go down here to pressure, click there. And you can see again, you've got exact same and you can modify this. So you can see as I lower that one, it goes down in that corner. If I lower that down, you can see it goes down to, they're both the same, you can see it's very thin point there. But I can, again, sometimes it will let me select it, yes. Gonna let me select it. You can make it obviously thicker up there. And you can continue to modify it again, changing it and tweaking it in numerous ways. Again, save the profile if you wish. Unfortunately, of course, you can't actually break this apart. You can only rasterize it. It would be really nice if you could actually turn this, this design, this beautiful curve, into an actual curve itself. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please put in the comments below. Thank you much.